Codons Codon is a trinucleotide sequence of DNA or RNA that corresponds to a specific amino acid. Each codon consists of three bases. Thus, there are 64 codons. All codons are written in the 5 to 3 direction. When we say a codon represents a specific amino acid, it means that whenever you see the codons UUC, it will always represent phenylalanine. Whenever you see the codon CUU, it will always represent leucine. CUU cannot be any other amino acid apart from leucine and UUC cannot be any other amino acid apart from phenylalanine. So once you see a particular code, it represents a particular amino acid. Any other thing becomes a problem or it is wrong. So AUG will represent methionine. CCC will represent proline. UCA will represent serine. UAC will represent tyrosine. So a specific code having three nucleotides it can either be U, C, A or G and these are the only nucleotides that are involved in codons uracil, cytosine, adenosine and guanine so a codon must have three letters and represent a particular amino acid the genetic code the genetic code are instructions in a gene that tell the cell how to make a specific protein. The letters of the genetic code are U, C, A and G and they represent uracil, cytosine, adenosine and guanine. Each gene's code combines the four chemicals in various ways to spell out three letter words that specify which amino acid is needed at every step in making a protein as you can see in the diagram so from this diagram this diagram is divided into three bases we have the first base the second base and the third base and it's just like a, a kind of genetic multiplication table where you add, where you, you multiply the letters, a specific way to give you three letter words that make specific proteins or amino acids. So as you can see here, on the first base, we have written U, C, A and G. On the second base, we have also written U, C, A and G. And in the third base as well. Now. The difference is how they are written. So the U in the first base and the U in the second base as well as the U in the third base will be multiplied in this manner. You pick the U in the first base, multiply it by the U in the second base. Everything under this U will first be multiplied by U and then multiplied by the first letter on the third base so to simply understand it in order for you not to cram note that you have four codons in every for every letter you write on the first base and the second base as well you have four codons so you write for the first base and then you are expected to have four codons for each of every letter in the second base. Now the third base will help you get the correct arrangement for the letters in the second base. So when you write U, C, A and G on the first base, you write U, C, A and G 
to represent one letter for the first base and then U, C, E and G for the second letter, U, C, E and G for the third letter. So that is that is where the four codons will come from. So you are expected to get four codons for each for each letter. So now let's let's start with Eurasil on the first piece. So we will pick the Eurasil on the first piece multiplied by the Eurasil on the second piece and then multiplied by the Eurasil that is the first letter on the third piece. So we'll have U, U and U. When we pick the Eurasil on the first base and the Eurasil on the second base multiplied by the cytosine on the third base. So now you pick the first letter. For everything under this U, you have to multiply first by U before multiplying by the next letter on the third base. So next we'll have U, U and C by multiplying the, site, the Eurasil on the first base by the Eurasil on the second base and then by the by the cytosine on the third base. So the next one will have U, U and A. And finally we'll have U, U and G. So that is how you can get the four this is how you can simply get the four codons that you have to get amino acids. When you follow through this process from the beginning to the end, you can be able to get all the codons. So, if you notice, you see that the letters at the end of each codon will always correspond with the letters at on the third base. So, you can see the U, C, A, G here. And you can see U, C, A, G here. You can see U, C, A, G here. You can see C, U, C, A, G. So, you can get all the all the letters of the genetic code that are on the third base in every codon that you have if you just align them. So in case you forget, just you can just use that to get at least one letter out of out of all out of the three letters at first. This video is basically just to explain to you how the codons are gotten and the kind of rules that are used to get the codons.